Hi guys, I hope you're all okay. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, so today, first of all, before I get into the reading, I'll, just, I'll, I'll do a little heart on me. They went a little bit wrong and I've got to go out as well. And then I've got to have to try to take them off, I think. Um, so first of all, before I get into the Do They Love You reading, I'm going to, uh, I'm giving the channel a Valentine's Day present and I need all your help with it. So I have decided in my wisdom with my guides that we're going to adopt an animal for the channel so i'm going to put a poll up hopefully at the same time i get this video out we shall see how i get on with me and my technology um where i need you to vote on what animal you want and i'm going to make monthly donations uh to it for us to adopt it as a whole channel for youtube so you have a choice between a snow leopard, an orangutan, a penguin, a polar bear, an elephant, a turtle, a tiger, a lion, a leopard, a dolphin, a panda, a jaguar, a rhino or a gorilla. Okay, um, so I need you to go and vote on the poll which one it is that you're, you want us to adopt for the channel and then the one that's got the most votes is what I'll, I'll put monthly payments down for so we've got one. We should also get a little soft toy of the animal as well so we can put him on the tarot tables just for our extra bit of luck. But that's, um, I figured we'd give a Valentine's Day present from the channel to the animals because that's love and that's what it's all about. So, uh, go have a vote on the poll, hopefully I've done it alright. Uh, and it should be there. Fingers crossed. We shall see. <laughs> if it's not, you'll be like, Ali, it's not that. Mm -mm. Okay. Right. Deck number one. Deck number two. Do they love you? Do they love you? Pick a deck. Number one and number two. We're going with romance decks today. This one's not really romance, but it's one of my favourites. Probably battered and bruised now. Uh, think about you. Think about them. Okay. We're good. Okay, can you get me in? So as always, we are going to work on the collective mutual energy between you all. So we're doing, do they live you? So work on the strongest mutual energy, collective energy deck number one. Um, so if anything doesn't resonate, just remember it for a later date. Um, okay, think about your person. Can I get into that? I really need to make that camera a bit more tight, don't I? Can you get me into the collective's energy of their persons, thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? To just got uh, is it love, baby? Don't hurt me, don't hurt me no more. Is it love? Okay, can you tell me, please? Do the collective's people love them? Do they love them? Do they love them? That's a good start. Do be do be do be do do they love them? We'll try and get a bit more ins and outs rather than a yes or a no because that's a bit it's a bit boring with tarot, isn't it? Do they love them? One, two, three. So if you are a third party watching this, obviously not all of you are third parties, but if you are a third party and you're panicking about um, Valentine's Day and if they're going to be doing this, that and the other with their person, majority of you as a collective, as a third party person, it's kind of gone beyond that with their relationship that they are already in. Uh, I'll just show you it, just tell you this quickly um, and then I'll get on with the rest of it. Um, but they're saying that... Um, for Valentine's Day, if you're worrying about who they're with, if they're married, if they're this, that and the other, Valentine's Day is definitely more of a couple time. And those over Christmas, if you got through Christmas where it was all family units and this, that and the other, you can get through Valentine's Day um, because they will be thinking about you and Valentine's Day rather than the person they are already with. Okay, um, now those are those of you that are third parties, those of you that have kind of had that cheating thing going on, uh, your person should definitely be making up to you today um, and if not today it's going to be in the next upcoming weeks um, remember you're all at different situations so it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all but the third party stuff came up first in this energy um, so they have got very very strong heart centred feelings towards you uh, the problem with this deck is that they are battling their head and their heart and that goes again for third parties that goes for normal relationship that goes if you're not in contact that goes if you are in contact that goes if they're hot and cold they are battling 
called their head and the heart, which is causing this conflicting energy. So they know that they have feelings for you with the Queen of Cups. They know that they have very, very strong emotions for you, um, but they're trying to act on the logical side of the situation at this moment in time. Now, all your individual circumstances will be different as to why they are acting on logic, but as a whole, um, it's because they've got um, the fears, fears of coming through first and foremost. Again, we're going back to them, rejection, abandonment, this, that and the other. Secondly, they don't actually know what to do about the situation and how to move it forward. Um, they're scared that if they decide to make a move now and say let's go let's give this a go let's try it um that they've kind of let you down because they're not sure that that is what they want at this moment in time now that doesn't mean they don't have feelings for you they're just trying to work it out in their little heads bless them they're a bit confused um they don't want to give you false hope whereas you because if they say to you i love you i want to be with you and some of you will be like okay this is it this is the end goal this is the one and throw all these expectations on them all these judgments on them and that's going to make them run because they're going to be a little bit uh, scared about the situation too much too soon so some of them are worrying about that there's a lot of conflicting energies but there's heart-centered energy at the bottom of it they're just trying to escape from the heart and work with their head because when they've been using their heart before they've been hurt in the past i'm hearing as well um a lot of people their people before you walked away from the situations um and they've kind of got it to, into their head that this is how relationships go relationships aren't necessarily easy um and a lot of your people as a whole um struggle to kind of put the effort and the work needed to maintain whatever relationship you've got they struggle with that kind of constant energy um and it's because of what's happened in the past and that doesn't just mean past relationships that can be going back to childhood issues it can be going back to traumatic times uh, i've just had a, a clairvoyant image of someone in the army with ptsd there's all sorts of various reasons why this situation has gone the way it has um but they are acting on the logical side of things rather than the heart side of things. Now that logical side of things will fade the longer time it is. Now I know that's that's going to be like Ali for God's sake, timing, God, you're still going on about it. Um, but what happens is when you start to feel as a person, when you start to feel that you are distancing yourself from them, when you're not waking up every morning and it's the first thing in your thought process or, um, you know, you go to 10 minutes without thinking of them or you get to half an hour without thinking of them. That's normally on a spiritual level when they are starting to go, have they forgotten me? Has she forgot he, she, has she forgotten me? Has he forgotten me? Why, why don't I feel like them in my energy anymore? What's going on? And that's when your person will start to panic. And when they start to panic, that is when the communication can come through. Um, I've also just got Mabel, don't call me up, because a lot of the time what will happen if you are going out clubbing or enjoying yourself or with your mates, your person will start trying to get in touch with you once they know that you are trying to pick yourself up and feel a bit better. Because they don't actually want you to feel <laughs> better. They want you to miss them they want you to long for them they want you to love them just the way that you do for them they want that and if they feel on an energetic level that you are pulling away from them that is when the the contact will come in if you're not in contact that's when the hot energy will come towards you if they're blame blowing hot and cold that's where uh, the communication will come through that's when they'll be like do you want to meet up do you want to talk do you want to do this do you want to do that because they can feel that pull away and they actually can't really live without you but they just don't really know how to live with you either so that's where the energy currently is they're acting on the logical side of things the more you withdraw from it the more they will come towards you and it'll be that magnet effect again as we spoke about in the last reading um your person isn't particularly happy where they are as a collective energy they're feeling very um low very sad uh, very heavy kind of gray energy around the whole of the collective to be fair there's a lot going on um and it kind of feels like they're, they're trying to close the heart up a little bit rather than keeping it open so um i know i say to you be careful what energies that you send them i wouldn't send them energy i would do some energy clearing on yourself and ask uh, spirit or universe or god or whoever you you work with to echo that energy onto your person so that they can feel the benefits of that healing as well because if you keep sending them energy 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 there'll be a point where the body will resist it whereas if you do the energy healing on yourself not only are you getting the benefits but they are getting the benefits as well um 
So you've got the three cups kind of tilting down, which is saying this is meant to be kind of three cups is either a celebration or for a party, I see it sometimes as. Um, but these cups are kind of facing downwards and they're like, I don't want to celebrate, I don't feel that happy. But you've got the two of cups over there, which is your true love card. Um, so they know that there is love at the centre of this, they just don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to handle it. Um, those of you that are third parties, it's looking like that is going to be coming to some kind of, uh, those people that are already involved in a relationship, that's going to be getting a little bit hoity-toity, I just heard, a little bit aggravated, a little bit high energy, a little bit impacted, a little bit, uh, this isn't going to work very well. With justice as well, justice can sometimes be divorce. Um, if not, it can be endings and beginnings, etc., etc. And this will be them then making these actions towards you. So with this deck, um, you are split up into a multitude of different different uh, situations. So third parties over Valentine's Day, don't worry, they will be thinking about you rather than the person they're with. If you've cheat, if they sorry, if they've they've gone and been a, a cheater, um, they will also be thinking about you more so um, than the situation because they'll be grieving the loss of what's happened and realizing they're a bit of an idiot because valentine's day the energy of this moon has brought a lot of energy a lot of stuff up to be cleared and we're still feeling it um over valentine's day i know it hasn't been a full moon or a new moon but that energy has been so strong a lot of my friends have had a lot of turmoil the last couple of days everything's just gone whoa, up in the air so i've been on best friend alert you know um so that's kind of been happening. Energy's been coming up to being cleared on a universal level. Uh, they're not particularly happy. There is conflicting energy. They're using the heart, uh, head over their heart. They're trying to uh, let these fears be released. Once that happens, these actions will be moved towards you. Um, but they're just working it all. They're trying to work it all out in their head. Um, heart and it's love energy always wins. You know, it always does. Sometimes the head will win for a little while. It will win for a little while because like, oh, well, I've got kids or I've got this and it's not going to work and I was abused or I was having a bad time. All of that kind of stuff that's happened to them will make the head kick in more. But love will be the thing that will drive them back towards you. Um, your best bet as a whole, as a collective, obviously this is your collective. Uh, if you wanted the personal guidance, you need to book a private reading. But as a whole, it's best to kind of just back away from the situation a little bit. Let them come towards you. Let them have that time to miss you and long for you. Um, and through that, when you feel it's starting to feel better, that's when the contact can come in. If you're not in contact, or the next steps, or whatever your individual circumstances are. So yes, there is heart-centered energy for deck number one, but they are acting more on logic at this moment in time. Uh, there is movement coming. A um, few of you, that's in the next couple of weeks. It's definitely some of you, there's gonna be unexpected things today, being Valentine's Day, depending on what country you're in. Um, there is unexpected news coming up to the surface as well. Positive stuff for you. Um, also, someone's going to get a... It feels like someone's going to get a proposal today. Deck number one. Okay, let's do deck number two. Okay, let's get into this energy. What am I on? 1304. Can you get me into deck number two's energy? So if you've just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, you need to go back to listen to the start of the video because I'm talking about an adoption for Valentine's Day. We're going to adopt an animal for the channel, so please go and listen because I'm going to put a call out. Um, think about your person. And as always, this works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Um... So if anything doesn't resonate, just remember it for a later date. I tap into all your energies, I tap into all your people's energies. Can we get into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, thought processes? And we pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. And you know that off by heart by now. Okay, can you tell me please, do they, uh, people's watching people, do their people love them? Do they love them? So you, the first card that kind of jumped out when uh, we initially started, I started shuffling it is the Nine of Cups. Um, so that's looking quite promising. We're looking good, we're looking good. I haven't used this deck in ages, but they're good for romance, get to the nitty gritty. Uh, let's do four more, three more. I just got a God knows what that is. Sha la 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 la
Da, da, da. I don't know what song that is. I just got it. Okay, so what's happening uh, with your person? Now, actually, there is quite a common energy within this about love, but there are reasons why this situation is the way it is. So um, at the top, we'll start off with the positive because this is what jumped out first, the Nine of Cups. Your wishes will come true, but this is a, t uh, a time of patience, a time of development, and a time of longing. If your people came to you as a whole now and you were like, again some this is your collective mutual energy and um sorry just to reiterate that okay um if your person came to you at this point in time the situation has completely changed you went from a to to c without the b in the middle most of you are in b zone at the moment but you went from a to c your person would actually drive you a little bit crackers they would be a little bit needy they would be a little bit clingy they would be trying to put their energy onto you they'd be trying to put their emotions onto you and um it would kind of be very frustrating for you i'm hearing now a lot of you think that that is actually what you want but whilst you're in this b zone from a to c you're in this b zone at the moment um you are having this period of growth and this period of learning and they would actually be really really quite annoying for you a little bit calmer there isn't it um so they're trying to you're getting yourself more stable you're feeling very very uh strong in your energy you're feeling like you're wearing a little bit of a mask towards them but as your person as a whole is starting to take this mask off now and see the situation for what they what it really is um and there is a joining of the two of you as a collective there is a joining of the two of you moving situations forward However, this is to come, okay? Some of you, that will be now, um, but it is mainly to come. At this moment in time, your person, uh, the whole collective, your person seems to be away, doing whatever they are doing. Um, they're feeling quite abandoned at the moment, and they are trying to get on top of their emotions. They're trying to work out what it is that they want in from life, not just from you, from life. And they're trying to paddle uphill, so what they're doing is they are taking a little molehill and they're turning it into a mountain and then from that mountain they're turning it into the Himalayas and they're standing in the Himalayas flaring their arms around going oh my god everything's too much I can't go blah 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 and that is why a lot of them will have distanced themselves from you at the moment now that's not just with regard to you that's with regard to family friends work romance well romance on top um pressure stress um feeling subjected to prov provocation prov provoking the feeling very on the end of their tether provocation i can't i couldn't work out what word that was then couldn't hear it properly um so they're feeling quite at the end of the tether so they will a lot of them will have distanced themselves from you and um, they're feeling like they're kind of trapped between four walls at the moment trying to focus on the stability and security which will move them forward and um, once they're feeling more stable they'll stop paddling upstream and they'll turn around and go with the flow of the tides um a lot of your what's happening with you lot um is that if you think about water being emotions what's currently happening with you guys um, is normally you're in a harbour so you visualize your boat you're on a boat okay water are your emotions you, your energy is on a boat and you're in a harbour okay that's where you normally are you can see land it's a bit secure you know you just kind of like chilling on top of your emotions now a lot of you have kind of took your boat out into the sea and now you're sitting in the sea, you can't see land anywhere, remember water emotions and there's tidal waves going, there's tsunamis going, there's all sorts of these emotions flailing around all over the place and you can't seem to find land. Now you're going to be bringing your boat, you're going to be navigating your boat, boat back towards the sea, uh, to the harbour if you keep focusing on yourself. So your person, very emotional deck this is, very water based, so your person is paddling upstream and you are in the sea. And this is why at this moment in time, there's a distance between the two of you because you're both at very different spaces. Um, that then can create a bit of conflict between the two of you. Some of you have been having arguments. Um, some of you have got a big issue of trust with them and they've been trying to, to communicate with you how they're actually feeling. Um, but they haven't expressed themselves very well, which has also com uh, made, com Confliction, sorry, 
I heard confliction and complicated come through at the same ear then at the same time. Um, you're panicking that they're going to be tempted by things and um, they are just kind of focusing their energy back towards you. But because of what's happened to you in the past and your emotions being in the sea, you're worrying what's actually going on behind the scenes. There's more stuff higher than you know about. And it's all these kind of, these are your fears which are then magnifying onto them. So they're paddling up and you're stuck in the, in the, in the middle of the sea. But you're worrying about temptation. They're also worrying about temptation for you, I'm hearing. Uh, Spirit is saying if they do not get a move on, they are very aware that they might lose you, which panics them as well. So there's a lot of emotions in this deck. There is a lot of love in this deck. It's just very different points. You're at polar opposites. Going back to the magnet again. Um, what else have we got? What else have we got? There's a potential for, again, more kind of conflicting energies coming out here. Um, it, this is going to be a case of divine timing, waiting for the train to kind of come in. A lot of this is more divine relationships, twin flames, false twin flames, higher vibrational soulmates, karmic energy, but that's soulmate karmic energy as well. Um, Spirit also is saying... Uh, don't folk yeah they're bringing up expectations again they're saying don't put all your eggs in one basket if you are single go and see the world a little bit you know take your focus off your person because if you take your focus off your person then you can manifest it quicker it doesn't mean you've got to move on from them but you've just got to let go and release the situation i talk about that a lot but spirit are bringing it up saying don't keep all your eggs in one basket go and see what other baskets are available you know, even if you love them and you want to be with them and things like that, there's no point weighing it down to one person and one choice and one option because you're limiting yourself. And when you limit yourself, you don't create any spaces. And when you don't create spaces, the universe can't give you what you want. So there's method behind the madness, all right? Um, they are feeling uh, isolated, alone, uh, sad, whimsical. Um, whimsical, yeah. Um, I just heard a word for you then, but it came, again, it's a bit, this is a bit muffled today, to be honest. Um, it was like mystical. So they are whimsical and you are mystical. So you've got these two very <laughs> different energies at this moment in time. But what is between the two of you is the heart-centered energy. Now, a lot of the more masculine energies, your partner's the more masculine energies. Remember, it's never gender-specific or sexually orientated. Are actually operating more on the feminine energy at the moment. And you lot are operating more on the masculine energy at the moment. So there's been a bit of a turnabout of these energies as well. Um, and it's that balance again between heart-centered emotions and stability. So the way this situation will move forward is to focus focus that sh energy towards you, getting stable, focusing on yourself, go and do things you enjoy, go and see your mates, live a little, listen to some Abraham Hicks, my bible when I'm feeling a bit low, and he, I know that just completely cut off, um, I know you might say um, men are from Mars, women are from Venus, that's what I say, um, that, that is men and women, um, but it's not, if you work with the energies, remember it's never gender specific or sexually orientated, so it'll work with the energies of masculine and feminine, really good book, five love languages, how to date people, any kind of books where you can get a further understanding of what's actually going on in their brains, um, and I know a lot of you are saying, well, I know how men work, or I know how females work, and I know how this works, and I know how that works. But actually, there is so much more depth to what is going on. And I know I said in the last reading about not researching all the divine relationships and things like not over-researching it. What you would be better doing with your time is to look at the gender, like the, the uh, energy specifics, masculine energy, feminine energy, the differences, and how that balances, the yin and yang balances. That would be a better, um, Spirit saying that would be a better use of your time. So you've got the balancing energies, you've got the stability energies, you've got them acting more on female energy. But the, the key between all of this all is that there is so much water in these cards that it's almost over emotional. So yes, there is love, but it's almost over emotional love. Um, you will get to this stage where you um, and them are feeling better. They'll be operating on heart-centered energy. You'll be operating on stability. Um, you won't be pressurizing them, but they will be kind of wading through this water rather than you both going, one of you in the sea and one of you uphill. 
down upstream you will be going through this water together and um, you won't be you won't be walking on it you won't be walking on water but you will be more balanced on it more balanced with your emotions more stable with your emotions and there will be an element of ecstasy that kind of comes with that there's also a lot of passionate energy between this deck uh, with deck number two which is why the arguments and things like that can happen um, two very different viewpoints that get caught up in the middle trying to find trying to say the other person's right you're right and the other person hasn't got room for their opinion and um, so try to release judgments as well let um, a, a few of you have said how do i let go of situations uh letting go meditations will help um have a look at what kind of crystals you can do to release um they're showing me oh god what's that um aqua aura aqua angel aura aqua aura aqua aura i'm hearing um any blue type crystals they're saying will help with the release any black crystals tourmaline um obsidian onyx any of them will help agates will also help but the blue lace agate that will help with releasing uh, you can sleep with them under your pillow you can put them in your bra or if you're a boy put them in your pocket um any have a look on the internet on different rituals you can do to release situations depending on what your individual beliefs are um often i will write my fears down and i'll go and burn them um well i'll get a piece of paper i'll write my fears on one side um and i'll write my solutions on the other side i'll go burn the fears and put the solutions under the candle and wait for it to happen and um, lots of different ways have a look have a google you'll find your own different techniques um and yeah but there is love at this deck there is love but release 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 let it happen um okay so let me know about what animal you want to adopt i'll read them through snow leopard orangutan penguin polar bear elephant turtle tiger lion leopard dolphin panda jaguar rhino or gorilla they're all endangered pick the one that you think will be best you want for the channel um and we'll take it from there. If you want to book a private reading, email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Um, I'm on Instagram, mysticlovetarot. I'm a bit useless at replying to Instagram messages, so you're best off getting me through email if you want me. Um, and that's it. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Lots of love from me and my guides to you. Take care. Bye.